Hi students, welcome to Engineering Graphics Plus. I am Dr. Vinod Kumar, adjunct professor at Cochin University of Science and Technology, Kerala. In this particular problem, we are discussing a cone, a cone, 50 mm diameter, 50 mm diameter. and 60 mm tall standing on its base on the ground standing on its base on the ground has, a, has an insect stationed at a point of its base circle which point any point let's say A an insect is stationed at A the insect travels around the body and comes back to A tracing the shortest path you are asked to find out that length you are asked to show that path in the plan and derivation that's the question i repeat a cone is standing on its base on its feet there is an insect you suppose an ant an insect stationed at a point of its base circle it travels around the body and comes back to the same point tracing the shortest path Shortest path has to be a straight line, no straight path. Okay. Now let us think which one way it can go. The cone is standing here, it can go around the base circle itself and comes back. Will it be the shortest? No, it may not be the shortest. It can go anywhere and then come back. It may not be shortest. So for it to be shortest, what he said is it has to travel from A to A, starting from A, it has to come back to A with a straight line, along a straight line connecting this A and A in the development. That means you have to draw the development, you have to draw the development of the cone and connect A to A by a straight line. Measure this length, A, A is the shortest path. That is the shortest path, you can give us an answer. Now, you have to show this shortest path in the plan and derivation. How do you do that? You have to go Reverse of what we have learned while cutting it. While cutting it, how do we go to the development? You know that. Your cut points on these generators are taken to the true length and from that true length you are marking, marking to the corresponding generator. Here, the points are on the generator. So come to true length, come to the generator. That is the procedure. Okay. Let us name the points. This is the starting point. I name the starting point as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 1. Agree? Where is 1? 1 is here. 1 dash. Where is 2? 2 is on OB. So on this 1 dash, 3 dash. Where? You cannot take it because this is not true length. What do you do? O ascender. O, take O2. Draw a mark. You need not do that. You can directly take it. O take O2 in your compass. Mark on this true length. 2, 1, dash. Draw a horizontal line to get 2 dash. Same length is 12 dash. So this is 2 dash as well as 12 dash. 2 is on OB and 12 is on OL. Projected through B passes through L, so this is B dash as well as L dash. So this is 2 dash as well as 12 dash. Take the distance O3, mark here, and draw horizontal line and get what? 3 dash as well as 11 dash. Take O4 and mark here 4, 1 dash. This is 3, 1 dash. This is 4, 1 dash. Go there. What is this? This is 4 dash, 10 dash. Take O5, 5 dash, 5 dash, 9 dash. O6, this is 5, 1 dash, this is 6, 1 dash, 6 dash, 8 dash. Take O7, it's already on the true length itself, so you can mark it as 7 dash. Agreed? You have got all the points. Connect them by a smooth curve. This is 
the path. Now, get them to the plant. How do you get them to the plant? Drop them down. 2, 12, 1. 3, 11. 4 and 10, you have to drop down from 4 and dash, come down and come to the center. 4, 10. 5, 9. 6, 8. 7. Connect them. This is the shape you get. So you have got the path in the elevation and the plan. Very interesting question. You can draw very easily. There is no complication. Name the points, come to the true line and come to the come to the true line, come to the generator and then come to the plan. That's all. I hope you understood. This sort of a question can come for other objects also. We will do some problems on pyramids, some problems on cylinders also. Okay. Thank you.